Hello everybody, it's me again and it's been a while since I posted the uh, videos on iOS tutorials so I'm gonna start again. Uh, I'm gonna cover in this video how to use uh, alert controller which is a new controller that can be used instead of uh, the action sheet, the old action sheet and the alert view if you're familiar with those previously. All right. Uh, the reason I'm doing this because we're going to be using this later on in the core data search uh, mechanism that I haven't covered yet. Um, it's a simple app. I've created a simple app. All it does, it has, uh, we created a simple view app, if you remember. We did new project, a single view app and cancel and then i got in this single view app i have a label and i have a button this button basically is connected to the view controller there's a method in the view controller called display or show action so this one is connected to this when you click on it it shows the action controller and then it sets this label to the value that you enter in the action controller all right, let's go into the view controller and look at what we're going to do. In this button here, this action, IV action, the steps usually to add an action controller is that you will create the controller. If you have any text fields that you wanna add for the user to enter, for example, a login, you could have username and password. You could do that, you can add those needed then you create the buttons those are we call them the action alert actions and the alert action in the previously you will have to set a delegate for the button and then when you click on the button you call that selector the method that you call well right now you don't have to do that in the action you can have a closure that actually deals with the actions for that button then we add the button or the alert action to the controller and finally we display the view controller just like you would do in an any view controller so let's go ahead and start we're going to create the controller first so i'm going to say let alert controller and then call it controller equal to what equal ui alert controller and then here you pass the few things all right, first, this is the method that we're going to use. Now, there are different ways to do it. This is if you, the NS coder, if you want to create it, if you look in here, you create it from the storyboard. Okay. This one, you can create it from an, an, a NIP file, if you remember. And this is, you just create it programmatically here. And then you program what you can design it the way you want. So I'm going to use this one here. The name of the title says greeting. The controller is greeting. The message that we're going to display, it says, enter your name. Enter your name below. Okay. And one more thing here. This is the style. If you click on this, now you can select what style you want. There's two styles. One of them is called alert. And one of them is called action sheet. I don't think with this row value I haven't used. Mm. All right, but the, I guess you can, there are three. But the one that I've used before is action sheet and alert. What's the difference between them? We will try both of them. I'll show you both of them. Let's start with the action sheet first, and then we'll go back to the alert. Okay, so now we've created the controller. The next piece is that if you want to create the text fields and then add them to the controller, like I guess as I'm saying in the case of a login, you would do that in here. So what do you do is that you say alert controller, and then you say add. There's one called text field. You can't add labels or anything to this. You can add this here. You can add a text field. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna add this text field. And um, first you need to, we give it the name of the text field. I just, let me repeat that again, show you what we've done here. So I say add, add text field with, uh, with configuration handler. 
you hit it, and then all you need to do is that you double click on this part. Okay, now you can enter the text field. You can give it a name. For example, this text field will be uh, G name, guest name, I guess. All right. All right, and it's the type is a text field. And then here, you can do whatever you want to do with this text field. One of the things that you usually do is that set the placeholder, okay, which means you don't need a label to say enter your name. You put it inside the text. So you can say guest name, the name of the text field that we defined in here, guest name, dot placeholder, and then you give it a value, enter your name here. Okay. All right. So like that. Okay. Okay. And then the next piece is that, I mean, let me, just, before we do the action, let me just show you if we do present this view controller, what would happen? So do present view controller. And what are we presenting? We're presenting the alert CT and it's not, anim it says animated. Yes or true. And then I'm going to say there's no code for completion. Okay, the block for completion is empty. All right, let me show you what's going to happen here. Now, if I run it, it'll display. All right, we got an error here. What is the error? Style array. Okay. I can't reuse it with the action sheet, apparently. It has to be with an alert type. Okay, so what I need to do, I guess is an example. Now we, all right, is need to go back to the view controller. And remember I was telling you here, because it is an action sheet, I could not use the text field with this action, action sheet. All right. Um, all right, let's change it to alert first. And then we'll, I'll go back and show you the difference okay and do alert and then you do run again and then you display it you got your action and then with the keyboard I can enter my values here of course but I don't have any buttons to do anything with it so that's the next piece before I do this to just to show you the difference between the two if I don't add I'll comment this out just to show you what would be the difference between an action sheet and an alert style. Okay, so this is would be that action sheet. The action sheet will present it. If, you, if, you, if you're familiar with like a picker view in the past where you click on something, you want to select something in here and it'll appear in here and you have a picker view and you select it. So that's the difference. So it will appear in, in, within the context of the view controller in the bottom part, all right? Okay, so that's the difference between an alert, uh, alert and an action view. All right. We'll go back to this now. And then let's add some alert actions. All right, leave that back. And then this back, and now let's go to the alert action. So you've created the controller, you added text fields if you need them, and then now you can add the actions. Okay, the actions is that you say let, for example, okay action equal, then you say UI action, alert action, here it is, and then you need to give it a few things all right you give it the title the style and the handler what do you want to do when you click on that button so i'm going to select this one the title says okay the style double click on this and then now you can select what style you want here you can say for example dot there's two ones there's default actually there's more but there is the one I've used before is uh, default and cancel. Now, you can only have one cancel action style within a, a view controller. You can have multiple default. So I'm going to say this is my default. 
The handler, you just simply double click on this again, and then you enter the handling code. All right, this is gonna be, here, I'm gonna give it a name, alert. And this is fine. And then here you will put uh, the code that you want. So every time you click on that button, you want to do something. The first thing I wanna do is that I want to just show you how we dismiss the view controller. So we can say alert, CT dot dismiss view controller, and then we say true, and then completion is nil. At least it will disappear now. All right. Now if we run it, oh, we have done one more part. The the second part is that we need to add it to the controller. This action that we've just created, I need to add it to the controller. So you say alert controller dot add there is one called add action do you see that and you give it the alert action you've created above which is okay like that now it will appear now if you run it this will appear now you got the button all right you click on it it cancels it dismisses the view controller all right one more thing we need to do with this here is that we want to get the text value that was that we entered in the in the action controller so this remember this has a name but i don't know anything i mean in the code really it doesn't matter what name you use because you can you'll access it as an array of objects all right so what we need to do we have a label as we said so i'm going to define a variable let g or g name equal you could do it in one step which is uh remember this is this is the alert view controller right it has a text field in it so if you say alert see and then you say text fields do you see that and it give you the text field it give you uh, those text field as an array of objects so two things we have to do we have to unwrap the the text field and since I have only have only one object so I'll use zero if you have multiple you can get multiple and then you need to cast it and then you say as and then I'm gonna unwrap it cast again unwrap the object and then you can call it as string all right all right so I got my name so this will give me the text field if you have two you will do the same thing for the next uh, for the second one all right so we'll have zero and one and then you do the next one be, they'll be added in order so the first one will be zero the second one will be one and so forth all right the next thing i want to do is that i have that label i'll be a name the text i'm going to set it equal to what equal g name dot text because remember g name oh, oh sorry this is not as a string this is as UIT, uh, UI text field, okay? And this is, we're gonna say, G name dot, name dot text, all right? That's all. Then like something here, reference probably is enclosure required. Okay, so I need to say self here to explicitly say it belongs to the class. Now, now if you run it, you'll have to you'll say you enter a value here, whatever value. And okay, now it says Ali. All right. Now if you wanna say greeting, you wanna say more, you'll say Hello, and then you put whatever message, the name that you got from the, from the text field. All right, one more thing in here will be done. The last thing I wanna do is that what if you wanna have two buttons? How do you do this? Okay, well, you can do the same thing. I'm gonna copy this, command copy, and I'm gonna paste it in here, and I'm gonna call this cancel. And then the style here, it'll be cancel. 
the name is instead of okay we'll say cancel action alert and I'm not gonna do anything with these. All I do in here is just dismiss, dismiss the view controller. And the last piece is that we need to add it to the controller. So we say let, uh, what do you call that? Alert CT dot add action. And in this case, it'll be cancel action. Okay, that's all. Now run it. Let's see what happens. Action, I got two buttons. One is cancel, one okay. If I click on cancel, nothing happened. I click on it again. If I type in something in here, hit okay. It puts the value. Action again, cancel. All right, and then if you don't do anything, it'll enter hello. All right, so that is it for the action controller using Swift. Uh, just to repeat what we've done, you create the controller, the action controller, you add any text fields required. If you have any text fields, you create, those are the important parts. You add the actions, the alert actions, and you put the handler for these actions. So within, you will have a closure at the end with the action itself, and then you can do whatever you want in this code. And you add it to the controller. And if you have more buttons, you can add those buttons again or those actions again. And finally, you display the controller. All right. I uh, will see you in the next video. Uh, we will use this later on to do the complete the core data search uh, mechanism. All right. I'll see you in the next video.